Hey guys, welcome to this video. Uh, the, we, the reason behind this video was very simple. Uh, due to some electric, uh, electrical works in uh, my area, there is uh, several times power cut happens. So I can't able to, uh, I don't know, I can I can or cannot connect the session today. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm going to record the session. I'm going to record today's session. I'm going to upload it in our channel. So you guys can watch it uh, how many times you want. So you can repeat, uh, repeat, repeatedly watch the video um, until your doubts have been clear. Okay. So let's get into the video. So first of all, you people are just confused uh, how we are trading. Remember, our trading style is all based on the liquidity. So first of all, we need to target the liquidity so that we need to know about what are the liquidity points before the entry. We need to know which point we are going to target. Okay. So I hope you understand it very well. So let me explain here. So let me consider a bullish breakout structure happens in the market. If this happens in the market, what we need to focus? We need to focus on four points, four major key points. So let's consider a breakout structure. In this breakout structure, we need to um, we need to look the origin first and the breaking point. It's a second one, okay? Where the structure got go? This is the second point. And you need to look, is there any demand area created before the breakout structure and in the same time you need to think is there any demand area after the breakout structure so you need to consider this four major points first why we need to consider so first of all how we are going to identify a liquidity point uh, using a simple strategy which is called supply and demand so let me explain uh, what is supply and demand and how we are going to find out the liquidity points okay so that um the reason behind these points will be clear for you. So let me take an example. Yeah. So what is the supply zone or demand? Okay, let's me let me take a demand zone. Okay. What is basically a demand? It's a rally base rally. Mm -hmm. This is a demand, right? Okay. When it comes to a rally base rally demand zone, look at this rally base rally. What happens here? Buyers are entering the market. Buyers. Buyers are entering in the market and there is bat in this particular area. There is a battle between buyers and sellers. Battle. A battle between buyers and sellers. Both players are in this area. Buyers and sellers. In some, some point of time, buyers won the battle and they take the control in the market. So what happens? What, what is going to happen? Now, we know this area is, a, we called this as a rally base rally demand area. And we know that this is in control of buyers. We know that, okay. And we know one more point. What is the point? There is inefficient price action in the leg. So price must needs to come back to this area before going higher, right? We know this point. To balance the price action, we know market needs to be filled with both buyers and sellers. Okay, so when sellers came uh, trying to enter in the market, after touching our point of interest, here, this is the area of bias. Okay, this area is in control of bias. So, bias will take the whole control. Okay, now, so now what, what, what is going to happen? Look at here, the buyer who is entering here, the buyer who enters here using a demand zone, must exit here, right? To secure his profit. So let me take, he is entering uh, at the price of 110 here. Let me assume, okay, 110. He needs to exit at the price of 130 exactly, right? So that he can make some profit. Now listen here. Here, buyers are entering. Battle between buyers and sellers happening. Buyers won the battle. Sellers get out of the market. Now, and again, sellers are entering here. Buyers entering, buyers exit now. There is no people in this area, right? We know after this move, there is no people in this area. So what is going to happen? It will happen. So this is our first major liquidity point. Sorry, it's a minor liquidity point. So we need to identify the liquidity point and we are going to target from here to here. I don't know we are going to take this move uh, because it's a very small move. And I don't even know uh, it's possible, but 
yeah fine it's possible but we are not going to focus on this move but we are going to focus on this move after identifying a clear liquidity point we will target okay we will target this kind of thing so in this kind of thing uh, we need to have look, uh, have a look about breakout structure and liquidity we need to view the market in point in terms of liquidity so that it will be clear uh, if it is not clear just listen to this breakdown then i, I hope this will uh, clear your doubts okay so look at the market structure it's making high rise and high lows and you know it was not matter for us right so look at here we have a supply failure over this area right supply was failed and again look at this we have a breakout structure also we have supply failure we have a breakout structure and we have almost supply failure okay let's ignore this point and i need to consider four points the origin and is there any demand area below yeah there is some demand it's a valid one and again where's the breakout structure this is a breakout structure is there any demand area after this uh, uh this breakout structure yeah there is one demand which is rally base if it creates a rally it will be a demand right so we need to focus on this kind of demands so we have a two valid demands here so let me mark the two valid demands over here okay i'm going to delete everything and i'm just going to mark the two valid demand areas why this is valid as i told uh, you earlier in this video we need to have uh, we need to look the breakout structure first and is there any demand area below the breakout structure and is there any demand area after the breakout structure uh, and the origin we need to consider these points and these are the two demand if this if it creates a demand it's also valid okay so we know because this demand was form, going to formed after the breakout structure so now i'm going to uh, allow the price to play look at here we have a rally and a base and a head rally so what happens in this area buyers are in the market and battle between buyers and sellers in some point of time buyers on the bottle and taking the control in the market so it's the area of bias we know so this demand is valid at least a time why at least a time because we know when it comes to demand zone it's a bias area once seller schemes buy center by is taking the control after that buys needs to exit to cut the profit right so this is bias area okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a limit over here this is just for an assumption okay i'm not going to trade this uh, much of smaller sls okay so now this, this will be my target it will be my target now i'm allowing the price price tagged our zone and let's see what, what is going to happen yeah target completed in this case what we know we know that this entire zone is going to be taken up why because it create uh, it's the origin of bias and this demand was already mitigated now so we need to take out this demand area okay now i found out my first liquidity point right so this is going to be my first liquidity point so i can shift to some 15 minutes something else and i can able to um, identify a short move so look at this we have a clear change of character and price must needs to come to this area so this is our origin right and inducement also so we can able to sell from here right you can able to sell from here with the target up to this so knowing liquidity levels is an art okay this video is particularly um explain the liquidity points not about our entries our entry models everything else it's, this is to just explain the uh, liquidity levels and how we are going to target okay so now the target was reached now let's come back to this demand now i'm going to validate this demand how i'm going to validate I, I i was waiting for the price to play just wait for just wait for it that's it i was waiting for the price to play and yeah once price came and mitigates, look at this. We have a clear sweep of liquidity. But what we need to, what what we want more, we need a breakout structure, right? So we need to wait to uh, aim for buys. Why we are aiming for buys? So the overall idea, if you look at the four hour time frame, so let me delete everything. 
look at the four hour idea. So price was swept the liquidity here and breaks the structure over here. So this demand may be validated. But this area won't be validated. Why? Because we are trading the concept using money transfer. This was not an area to look. So I'm aiming this heist to be taken out. And why from why particularly from this area? Because look at this. The price is actually reacted from a demand zone. So when it comes to demand, this demand taking control, a rally, a base, a rally. So it's going to be validated at least one time. And already bias entry, bias are exited already over the, this area. So if price comes to this area, it will be mm, taken out. So it's not valid one. I hope it makes sense for everyone, right? So let me mm, take this demand and which is the reason for the, uh, which is formed after this supply failure, this demand takes the control. So what, why supply fail demand I think taking control? Because in market, there is only two players. One is bias and another one is sellers. If bias lost the battle, sellers going to take the control. If sellers the lost the battle, then buyers are going to take the control, right? So here I'm going to uh, look for buys. Uh, so waiting for the price to break the structure. And uh, I, I'm switching the time frame for my convenience. And yeah, we got a breakout structure. Uh, it's a minute breakout structure. You need to notice. Cut this. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it makes sense, right? So it's a breakout structure. And look here what happens. Price builds inducement, which is a fuel to go higher. I'm going to take an entry from this area towards higher, towards this target, okay? Towards this as a target. Yeah, target fixed. Okay. So price came and tagged us and just started flying. And look at the look at here what happens. Price forms one more breakout structure over this area. So what we need to focus on after a breakout structure, we need to focus on uh, where's the breaking point. This is a breaking point. Is there any demand variation below? There is no. Is there any demand creation above? There is no demand area. So the demand area which is going to hold the price is simply or order part, right? So I'm going to have an entry. I have one more entry. So this was the first entry. The sun. The target. Fine. And I'm going to have one more entry here. Why? Because if it forms an inducement, it's valid because it failures the supply. It makes the supply to fail. And if it is a uh, proper, yeah, yeah, it's a proper demand. If it's a proper demand, it needs to hold the price. So that I'm going to take an entry if it forms an inducement only. So let's wait for the information. Of, yeah, look at this. Look at before the new scandal what happens. Look at here. So price just builds an inducement which is a false breakout structure of us so it will be considered as inducement to go higher so i was waiting for the price and i'm going to put my limits over here this this will be my second limit order fill the targets fill uh, the targets will be same i'm going to have a entry over here and entry triggered target stamp instant right so this is how we, we need to tra travel from a liquidity point to liquidity point. I hope, I hope this video makes sense for you all. And you may have a doubt. So in this particular trade breakdown, this concept works. Is it going to work in all the others? Yeah, definitely it's going to work in all the others. So let me show you one other example, which was taken by me also. XAUSD. You know, gold is my favorite part, yeah? You know, you guys know that, right? So let me show you an example. I think I took a trade over here using the same concepts. So it's my duty to explain all the concepts. I think over here I got, yeah. So look at this. Initially my idea is to 
sell. Why my idea is to sell? So look at the four hour price action. Sorry, one hour price action. We got a breakout structure over this side. And look, we got a consecutive transfer one, two, third time. And this demand may be validated. Okay. And look at this. Look at here. Price just forms a false breakout structure. It, it will be considered as inducement. After taking this inducement, price has started flying immediately. And it never fills the inefficient price action still and never mitigates this demand zone to go higher. So I thought that this was a tap move, which is formal to tap all the traders. And in the same time, look at the higher lower time frame. So it's in 30 minutes. We got a liquidity sweep and we got a breakout structure. It's in 30 minutes. Okay. 30 minutes. And if you have looked at it minutely, this will be considered as your supply zone, which is, uh, which is a strong high also. If it is a strong high, it needs to be taken. Uh, it needs to take this low. So this was the initial ideology behind this trade. So I was focusing on this particular thing and I'm switching time frames to, uh, for my convenient. So there is no clear thing. So I was switching my time frame one more time. And Look at the market structure, what happens? Uh, and uh, I think from here, yeah, from here I got an idea. So this candle took all the money. So the money is lying in, in this area. From this area, we got a mitigation. So the money was transferred here. If sales needs to be happened, this is the block which is reason for the sales, right? So this is the reasonable block for sales and it blocks this block having an inducement and it mitigates the money, uh, money, uh, block which contains money. So I was waiting for the price to play. And now I noticed something over here. Look at here. I think in 15 minutes. Yeah. Look at this. There is a supply failure. When it comes to supply failure, we need to look, is there any demand creation nearby our supply area? Yeah. There is one demand creation nearby supply area. So I need to look, uh, uh, look for like uh, just a minute. So I need to look for, um, so when the demand, sorry, when the supply failures, I need to look for um, demand to hold the price. So the, there is a demand formation, which is created after my supply failure. So now look at here, look at the price action and how we are going to uh, make our move. Okay. Prices uh, started playing and look at here. Price just came, 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 and again. Look at look at this mitigation and look at the sweep of liquidity. So more this is the trap of most people. I, I'm also trying to execute a trade over here, but I thought that okay, if price needs to go lawyer, it needs to break this demand. Because it's a fresh demand, still it not yet mitigated. Look at this week. It not yet mitigated. If uh, this is a demand, which is formed after the supply failure. So after the supply failure, this demand needs to be validated. So if it if demand is need to be validated, this case needs to be taken out because this was a take profit area, right? It's going to be the take profit area. So when it comes to the take profit area, we are going to have buys over here till the target is up to this. So after mitigating this area. Uh, after mitigating this area, yeah. we will look for cells and uh, after take out this size, right? So we are going to have an entry over here. And we entry got tapped. And again, price just hit the TP. Look at this. Think that how many people are going to sell from here? They are getting trapped. Definitely they are getting trapped, right? Look at the sweep and look at the breakout structure. Look at the inducement. They got trapped over here. If you don't know where is the liquidity point, definitely are going to be trapped, going to be trapped by the market. So it's better to understand the liquidity points. Now we know this is going to be liquidity. I was waiting for the price to play and look at uh, notice the price action. We are still in our point of interest, right? We are still in our same point of interest. And look here, what happens? Uh, I need to find a valid zone for sell, right? Um, 
price games. Uh, just a minute. Yeah, look at here. The price games, and I'm allowing the price to play. And price is just forming like something. <laughs> Let's see, it's five minutes price action. Yeah, five minutes price action as clear. Look at this. We have taken out the lows just over here. Just over here, we have taken out this low. It means we break the we sweep the liquidity and we broke the structure. Okay, so I need to find a valid supply zone. Look at this. This sub uh, this candle contains all the money by mitigation. This candle contains all the money by mitigation. This candle contains all the money. Now it's going to be my sell zone, and I switch it time frame to one minute to look up perfect candle which sets the liquidity and breaks the structure. Look at this. Subs liquidity and break a structure, everything has in and look at here also. Subs liquidity break a structure. And still in our area, right? It's still in our area. When it comes to our area, we are going to sell. We are going to have a sell. I just marked this. I didn't enter over here. I just marked my point of interest. That's it. I didn't enter over here. And I am switched uh, to five minutes. And I was expecting something like. This is a trap area we know. So what people will think? People will think it's such a liquidity break of structure. It's a strong law. So price may react from here, go higher. This was people's expectation. But we know this is a trap now because it's already mitigated once and it's done its duty. So it needs to be taken out. So I was waiting for the price to give a reaction and it exactly gives a reaction. And look here. I was entered quietly over here. I was entered over here with the stop loss up. To the zones. Okay. And my target was very simple this inducement low. I think, uh, yeah, this inducement low, but my um, RR was 1 last 20 something. I need to find a better entry area. My RR was 1 last 20 something when it comes to. Uh, I don't know. Okay, fine. Let's take this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I placed my SL over here. Right, exactly. Entry quite over. Yeah, this here. I'll explain the entry greedy in another video. Okay. So I was waiting for the price to play and price just <laughs> hit the TV instantly after the news takes out me. Okay, fine. But all you you are going to learn from this video, it's all about liquidity and the targeted area. So look at how I'm playing. I'm not going to assume that this going to go, this zone is going to work or not. I'm just taking a uh, in perspective of market, like which zone is the reason for the break and which zone is going to hold the price. And I was waiting. Look at here. If I were I. I'm not going to wait. I will execute a trade over here. Yeah, this trade perfects. It, it was a perfect one. But I didn't do that. I was waiting for the price to reach this. And after I take out this guys, waiting for the price to break this low and come back and entering. And after some one has to six or something, it take out me. It's completely fine. But I know the liquidity levels. I know where the market is going to um uh, sell off. So everything I know. So it's better to trade with the liquidity, right? Uh, without knowing uh, uh, where the market uh, needs to go or where, where the market is going to be. You won't trade without knowing the exact liquidity points and exact selling point and exact buying points. Why you are going to enter in the market? Just wait. The time will come. I hope this video makes sense for everyone. Uh, I'll do one more video about the same topic. Uh, I'm going to store this video in you. Uh, in our YouTube channel, I'll share the link. You can watch it. Okay. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.